Dedication for Barrack Room Ballads. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Barrack Room Ballads by Rudyard Kipling. Dedication to T. A. I have made for you a song, and it may be right or wrong but only you can tell me if it's true i have tried for to explain both your pleasure and your pain and thomas here's my best respects to you oh there'll surely come a day when they'll give you all your pay and treat you as a christian ought to do so until that day comes round heaven keep you safe and sound and thomas Here's my best respects to you. R. K. Danny Deaver by Rudyard Kipling. Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone. First series, 1892. Danny Deaver. What are the bugles blowing for? said Files on parade. To turn you out, to turn you out the colour sergeant said what makes you look so white so white said files on parade i'm dreading what i've got to watch the colour sergeant said for they're hanging danny deaver you can hear the dead march play the regiment's in hollow square they're hanging him to-day they've taken off his buttons off and cut his stripes away and they're hanging danny deaver in the morning what makes the rear rank breathe so hard said files on parade it's bitter cold it's bitter cold the colour sergeant said what makes that front rank man fall down said files on parade a touch of sun a touch of sun the colour sergeant said they are hanging danny deaver they are marching of him round they have altered danny deaver by his coffin on the ground and he'll swing it half a minute for a sneaking shooting hound oh they're hanging danny deaver in the morning his cot was right hand cot to mine said files on parade he's sleeping out and far to-night the colour sergeant said i've drunk his beer a score of times said files on parade he's drinking bitter beer alone the colour sergeant said they are hanging Danny Deaver. You must mark him to his place. For he shot a comrade sleeping. You must look him in the face. Nine hundred of his county and the regiment's disgrace. While they're hanging Danny Deaver in the morning. What's that so black again the sun? Said Files on parade. It's Danny fighting hard for life, the colour sergeant said what's that that whimpers overhead said files on parade it's danny's soul that's passing now the colour sergeant said for they've done with danny deaver you can hear the quickstep play the regiment's in column and they're marching us away oh the young recruits are shaking and they'll want their beer to-day after hanging danny deaver in the morning Tommy by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone I went into a public house to get a pint of beer. The publican he ups and says, We serve no redcoats here. The girls behind the bar they laughed and giggled fit to die. I outs into the street again, and to myself says I, oh it's tommy this and tommy that and tommy go away but it's thank you mr atkins when the band begins to play the band begins to play my boys the band begins to play oh it's thank you mr atkins when the band begins to play i went into a theatre as sober as could be they gave a drunk civilian room but hadn't none for me they sent me to the gallery or round the music halls but when it comes to fighting lord 
they'll shove me in the stalls for it's tommy this and tommy that and tommy wait outside but it's special train for atkins when the trooper's on the tide the troop ship's on the tide my boys the troop ship's on the tide oh it's special train for atkins when the trooper's on the tide yes making mock of uniforms that guard you while you sleep is cheaper than them uniforms and their starvation cheap and hustling drunken soldiers when they're going large a bit is five times better business than parading in full kit then it's tommy this and tommy that and tommy how's your soul but it's thin red line of heroes when the drums begin to roll the drums begin to roll my boys the drums begin to roll oh it's thin red line of heroes when the drums begin to roll we aren't no thin red heroes nor we ain't no blackguards too but single men in barracks most remarkably like you and if sometimes our conduct isn't all your fancy paints why single men in barracks don't grow into pastor saints while it's tommy this and tommy that and tommy fall behind but it's pleased to walk in front sir when there's trouble in the wind there's trouble in the wind my boys there's trouble in the wind oh it's pleased to walk in front sir when there's trouble in the wind you talk of better food for us and schools and fires and all we'll wait for extra rations if you treat us rational don't mess about the cook-room slops but prove it to our face the widow's uniform is not the soldier man's disgrace for it's tommy this and tommy that and chuck him out the brute but it's saviour of his country when the guns begin to shoot and it's tommy this and tommy that and anything you please and tommy ain't a blooming fool you bet that tommy sees Fuzzy Wuzzy by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Peter Yearsley Fuzzy Wuzzy, Sudan Expeditionary Force We've fought with many men across the seas, And some of them was brave, and some was not, The Pathan and the Zulu and Burmese, But the Fuzzy was the finest of the lot. We never got a hapeth change of him, He squatted in the scrub and ogged our horses, he cut our sentries up at Surkim, and he played the cat and banjo with our forces. So here's to you, Fuzzy Wuzzy, at your home in the Sudan. You're a poor benighted heathen, but a first-class fighting man. We gives you your certificate, and if you want it signed, we'll come and have a romp with you whenever you're inclined. We took our chance among the Khyber Hills. The Boers knocked us silly at a mile. The Burman give us Irrawaddy chills and a Zulu impi dished us up in style. But all we ever got from such as they was pop to what the fuzzy made us swallow. We owed our blooming own, the papers say, but man for man, the fuzzy knocked us holler. Then here's to you, fuzzy wuzzy, and the missus and the kid. Our orders was to break you, and of course we went and did. We sloshed you with martinis, and it wasn't hardly fair. But for all the odds again you fuzzy was, you broke the square. He hasn't got no papers of his own, he hasn't got no medals nor rewards, so we must certify the skill he's shown in using of his long two-handed swords. When he's hopping in and out among the bush with his coffin-headed shield and shovel-spear, an happy day with Fuzzy on the rush will last an healthy Tommy for a year. So here's to you, Fuzzy Wuzzy, and your friends which are no more. If we hadn't lost some messmates, we would help you to deplore. But give and take the gospel, and we'll call the bargain fair, for if you have lost more than us, you crumple up the square. He rushes at the smoke when we let drive, and before we know he's acting at our head. He's all lot sand and ginger when alive, and he's generally shamming when he's dead. He's a daisy, he's a ducky, he's a lamb. He's a india rubber idiot on the spree is the only thing that doesn't give a damn for a regiment of british infantry so here's to you fuzzy wuzzy at your home in the sudan you're a poor benighted heathen but a first-class fighting man 
and here's to you fuzzy wuzzy with your ayric head of air you big black bounding beggar for you broke up british square end of poem soldier soldier by rudyard kipling read for librivox dot org by alan mapstone soldier soldier come from the wars why don't you march with my true love we are fresh from the ship and he's maybe give the slip and you'd best go look for a new love new love true love best go look for a new love the dead they cannot rise and you'd better dry your eyes and you'd best go look for a new love soldier soldier come from the wars what did you see of my true love i seed him serve the queen in a suit of rifle green and you'd best go look for a new love soldier soldier come from the wars did ye see no more of my true love i seed him running by when the shots begun to fly but you'd best go look for a new love soldier soldier come from the wars did aught take arm to my true love i couldn't see the fight for the smoke it lay so white and you'd best go look for a new love soldier soldier come from the wars i'll up and tend to my true love he's lying on the dead with a bullet through his head and you'd best go look for a new love soldier soldier come from the wars i'll down and die with my true love the pit we dug alight him and the twenty men beside him and you'd best go look for a new love soldier soldier come from the wars do you bring no sign from my true love I bring a lock of hair that he always used to wear, and you'd best go look for a new love. Soldier, soldier, come from the wars, oh, then I know it's true, I've lost my true love. And I'll tell you truth again, when you've lost the feel of pain, you'd best take me for your true love. True love, new love, best take him for a new love the dead they cannot rise and you better dry your eyes and you'd best take him for your true love end of poem screw guns by roger de kipling read for librivox dot org by kristen hand smoke in my pipe on the mountings sniff in the morning cool i walks in my old brown gaiters along my old brown mule with seventy gunners behind me, and never a beggar forgets, it's only the pick of the army that handles the dear little pets. Tss, tss. For you all love the screw guns, the screw guns, they all love you. So when we call round with a few guns, of course you will know what to do. Hoo hoo. Just send in your chief and surrender. It's worse if you fights or you runs. You can go where you please, you can skid up the trees, but you don't get away from the guns. They sends us along where the roads are, but mostly we goes where they ain't. We'd climb up the side of a signboard and trust to the stick of the paint. We've chivied the Naga and Luche, we've give the freedom in fits, for we fancies ourself at two thousands, we guns that are built in two bits. Tss, tss. For you all love the screw guns, the screw guns, they all love you. So when we call round with a few guns, of course you will know what to do, hoo hoo. Just send in your chief and surrender, it's worse if you fights or you runs. You can go where you please, you can skid up the trees, but you don't get away from the guns. If a man doesn't work, why we drills him and teaches him how to behave. If a beggar can't march, why we kills him and rattles him into his grave. You've got to stand up to our business and spring without snatchin' or fuss. Do you say that you sweat with the field guns? By God, you must lather with us. Tss, tss. For you all love the screw guns. The screw guns, they all love you. So when we call round with a few guns, of course you will know what to do. Who, who? Just send in your chief and surrender. It's worse if you fights or you runs. 
You can go where you please, you can skid up the trees, but you don't get away from the guns. The eagles is screamin' around us, the river's a moanin' below, where clear of the pine and the oak scrub, we're out on the rocks and the snow. And the wind is as thin as a whiplash, what carries away to the plains, the rattle and stamp of the lead mules, the jingle jink of the chains. Tss, tss. For you all love the screw guns, the screw guns, they all love you. So when we call round with a few guns, of course you will know what to do. Who, who? Just send in your chief and surrender. It's worse if you fights or you runs. You can go where you please, you can skid up the trees, but you don't get away from the guns. There's a wheel on the horns of the morning, and a wheel on the edge of the pit, and a drop into nothing beneath you as straight as a beggar can spit, with the sweat running out of your shirt sleeves, and the sun off the snow in your face, and are for the men in the drag ropes to hold the old gun into place. Tss, tss. For you all love the screw guns, the screw guns, they all love you. So when we call round with a few guns, of course you will know what to do. Who, who? Just send in your chief and surrender. It's worse if you fights or you runs. You can go where you please. You can skid up the trees, but you don't get away from the guns. Smoking my pipe on the mountings, sniffing the morning cool. I climbs in my old brown gaiters, along o' my old brown mule. The monkey can say what our road was. The wild goatee knows where we passed. Stand easy, ye long-eared old darlings. Out drag ropes with shrapnel hold fast. Tss, tss. For you all love the screw guns. The screw guns, they all love you. So when we take tea with a few guns, of course you will know what to do. Who, who? Just send in your chief and surrender. It's worse if you fights or you runs. You may hide in the caves. They'll be only your graves, but you can't get away from the guns. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Cells by Rudyard Kipling. Read for LibriVox.org by Kristen Hand. I've a head like a concertina. I've a tongue like a button stick. I've a mouth like an old potato, and I'm more than a little sick. But I've had my fun at the corporal's guard, I've made the cinders fly, and I'm here in the clink for a thundering drink and blacking the corporal's eye. With a second-hand overcoat under my head and a beautiful view of the yard, oh, it's pack drill for me and a fortnight's CB, for drunk and resisting the guard. Mad drunk and resisting the guard, it's truth, but I socked it them hard. So it's pack drill for me and a fortnight's CB for drunk and resisting the guard. I started a canteen porter. I finished a canteen beer. But a dose of gin that a mate slipped in, it was that that brought me here. Twas that and an extra double guard that rubbed my nose in the dirt. But I fell away with a corporal's stock and the best of the corporal's shirt. I left my cap in a public house, my boots in the public road, and Lord knows where, and I don't care, my belt and my tunic goad. They'll stop my pay, they'll cut away the stripes I used to wear, but I left my mark on the corporal's face, and I think he'll keep it there. My wife, she cries on the barrack gate, my kid in the barrack yard. It ain't that I mind the orderly room, it's that that cuts so hard. I'll take my oath before them both that I will sure abstain. But as soon as I'm in with a mate and gin, I know I'll do it again. With a second-hand overcoat under my head and a beautiful view of the yard. Yes, it's pack drill for me and a fortnight's CB for drunk and resisting the guard. Mad drunk and resisting the guard. It's truth, but I socked it them hard. So it's pack drill for me and a fortnight's CB for drunk and resisting the guard. End of poem. Finger Din by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone You may talk a gin and beer when you're quartered safe out here and you're sent to penny fights and older shot it but when it comes to slaughter you will do your work on water 
and you'll lick the blooming boots of him that's got it now in injur's sunny clime where i used to spend my time a serving of her majesty the queen of all them black-faced crew the finest man i knew was our regimental bishti gunga din he was din 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 you limping lump of brick dust gunga din hi slippery hither row water get it panny low you squidgy nosed old idol gunga din the uniform he wore was nothing much before and rather less than half of that behind for a piece of twisted rag and a goatskin water bag was all the field equipment he could find when the sweating troop train lay in a siding through the day where the heat would make your blooming eyebrows crawl we shouted harry by till our throats were bricky dry then we whopped him cause he didn't serve us all it was din 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 you heathen where the mischief have you been you put some judley in it or i'll marrow you this minute if you don't fill up my helmet gunga din he would dot and carry one till the longest day was done and he didn't seem to know the use of fear if we charged or broke or cut you could bet your blooming nut he'd be waiting fifty paces right flank rear with his music on his back he would skip with our attack and watch us till the bugles made retire and for all his dirty eyed he was white clear white inside when he went to tend the wounded under fire it was din 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 with the bullets kicking dust spots on the green when the cartridges ran out you could hear the front file shout hi ammunition mules and gunga din i shan't forget the night when i dropped behind the fight with a bullet where my belt plate should have been i was choking mad with thirst and the man that spied me first was our good old grinning grunting gunga din he lifted up my head and he plugged me where i bled and he gave me half a pint of water green it was crawling and it stunk but of all the drinks i've drunk i'm gratefulest to one from gunga din it was din 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 here's a beggar with a bullet through his spleen he's chawing up the ground and he's kicking all around for god's sake get the water gunga din he carried me away to where a dooley lay and a bullet come and drilled the beggar clean he put me safe inside and just before he died i hope you liked your drink says gunga din so i'll meet him later on at the place where he is gone where it's always double drill and no canteen he'll be squatting on the coals giving drink to poor damn souls and i'll get a swig in hell from gunga din yes din 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 you lazar russian leather gunga din though i've belted you and flayed you by the living gold that made you you're a better man than i am gunga din end of poem moods by rudyard kipling read for librivox dot org northern indian transport train what makes the soldiers art to pink what makes them to perspire it isn't standin up to charge nor lyin down to fire but it's everlastin waitin on a everlastin road for the commissariat camel and his commissariat load o oh, the oot o oh, the oot o oh, the commissariat oot with his silly neck o bobbin like a basket full o snakes we packs him like an idol and you ought to hear him grunt and when we gets him loaded up his blessed girth rope breaks what makes the rare god swear so hard when night is drawin in and every native follower is shiverin for his skin it ain't the chance to being rushed behind by pythons from the hills it's the commissariat camel putting on his bloomin frills o oh, the oot o oh, the oot o oh, the hairy scary oot a trippin over tent ropes when we've got the night alarm we socks him with a stretcher pole and eds him off in front 
and when we've saved his bloomin' life, he chose our bloomin' arm. The horse he knows above a bit, the bullock's but a fool, the elephant's a gentleman, the battery mule's a mule, but the commissary at Camuel, when all is said and done, he's a devil and a ostrich, and a orphan child in one. O oh, the oot, o oh, the oot, o oh, the god forsaken oot. The lumpy umpy ummin bird a singin where he lies. He's blocked the whole division from the rear guard to the front, and when we get him up again, the beggar goes and dies. He'll gall and chafe and lame and fight. He smells most awful vile. He'll lose his self for ever if you let him stray a mile. He's game to graze the whole day long and owl the whole night through. And when he comes to greasy ground, he splits himself in two. O oh, the oot, o oh, the oot, o oh, the floppin', droppin' oot. When his long legs give from under, and his melting eye is dim, the tribes is up behind us, and the tribes is out in front. It ain't no jam for Tommy, but it's kites and crows for him. So when the cruel march is done, and when the roads is blind, and when we sees the camp in front, and years the shots behind, ho, oh, then we strips his saddle off, and all his woes is past. He thinks on us that used him so, and gets revenge at last. O oh, the oot, o oh, the oot, o oh, the floatin' bloatin' oot. The late lamented camel, in the water cuts he lies. We keep a mile behind him, and we keep a mile in front. But he gets into the drinking casks, and then, of course, we dies. End of the poem. Boot by Rudyard Kipling. Read for LibriVox.org by Adrian Stevens. If you've ever stole a pheasant egg behind the keeper's back, if you've ever sneaked the washing from the line, if you've ever crammed a gander in your blooming haversack, you'll understand this little song of mine. But the service rules are odd, and from such we are debarred, for the same with English morals does not suit. Cornet, toot, toot. Why, they call a man a robber if he stuffs his marching clubber with the low, 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 loot. Oh, the loot, blooming loot. That's a thing to make the boys get up and shoot. It's the same with dogs and men. If you'd make em come again, clap em forward with a loo, 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 loot. Whoopee! Tear him, puppy! Loo, 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 loot. If you've knocked a nigger edgeways when he's thrusting for your life, you must leave him very careful where he fell. And may thank your stars and gaiters if you didn't feel his knife, and you ain't told off to bury him as well. Then the sweating tummies wonder as they spade the beggars under why looting should be entered as a crime. So if my song you'll ear, I will learn you plain and clear how to pay yourself for fighting overtime with the loot. Lo, 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 lo. Lo, 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 loot. Oh, the loot. Blooming loot. That's the thing to make the boys get up and shoot. It's the same with dogs and men. If you'd make em come again, clap em forward with a lo, 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 loot. Whoopee! Tear him, puppy. Lo, 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 loot. Now remember... When you're acting round a gilded Burma god, that his eyes is very often precious stones. And if you treat a nigger to a dose of cleaning rod, he's like to show you everything he owns. When he won't produce no more, pour some water on the floor. Where you ear it answer hollow to the boot, cornet, toot, toot. When the ground begins to sink, Shove your bainic down the chink, and you're sure to touch the lo 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 loot. Oh, the loot, blooming loot, 
That's the thing to make the boys get up and shoot. It's the same with dogs and men. If you'd make em come again, clap em forward with a loo, 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 loot. Whoopee! Tear him, puppy! Loo, 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 loot, loot, loot. When from ouse to ouse you're hunting, you must always work in pairs. It halves the gain, but safer you will find. For a single man gets bottled on them twisty, wisty stairs, and a woman comes and clubs him from behind. When you've turned him inside out, and it seems beyond a doubt, as if there weren't enough to dust a flute, cornet toot toot, before you sling your hook, at the house tops take a look, for it's underneath the tiles they hide the loot. Oh, the loot! Lulu, 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 loot, loot, loot! Oh, the loot! Blooming loot! That's the thing to make the boys get up and shoot. It's the same with dogs and men. If you'd make em come again, clap em forward with a loo, 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 loot. Whoopee! Tear him, puppy! Loo, 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 loot, loot, loot. You can mostly square a sergeant and a quartermaster too. If you only take the proper way to go, I could never keep my pickings, but I've learned you all I know, and don't you never say I told you so. And now I'll bid good-bye, for I'm getting rather dry, and I see another tuning up to toot, cornet, toot, toot. So here's good luck to those that wears the widow's clothes, and the devil sends em all they want a loot. Yes, the loot, blooming loot, in the tunic and the mess tin and the boot. It's the same with dogs and men, if you'd make em come again. Whoop em forward with a loo, 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 loot, loot, loot. Hey, ya, sick him, puppy, loo. Loo, 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 loot, loot, loot. Snarly Yow by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Sandra, Montreal, 2021 This happened in a battle to a battery of the Corps, which is first among the women, an amazing first in war. And what the bloomin' battle was, I don't remember now. But two's off lead, he answered to the name of Snarly Ow. Down in the infantry, nobody cares. Down in the cavalry, Colonel, he swears. But down in the lead, with the wheel at the flog, turns the bold bombardier to a little whip dog. They was moving into action. They was needed very sore to learn a little schooling to a native army corps. They had nipped against an uphill. They was tucking down the brow, when a tricky, trundling round shot gave the knock to Snarty Yow. They cut him loose and left him. He was almost torn too, but he tried to follow after as a well-trained horse should do. He went and fouled the limber, and the driver's brother squeals, Pull up! Pull up for Snarty Yow! His head's between his heels! The driver umped his shoulder, for the wheels was going round. And there ain't no stop, conductor, when a battery's changing ground. Says he, I broke the beggar in, and very sad I feels. But I couldn't pull up, not for you, your head between your heels. He hadn't hardly spoke a word, before a drop and shell, a little right, the battery, and between the sections fell. And when the smoke had cleared away, before the limber wheels, there lay the driver's brother, with his head between his heels. Then, says the driver's brother, and his words was very plain, for God's own sake get over me and put me out of pain. They saw his wounds was mortal, and they judged that it was best, so they took and drove the limber straight across his back and chest. 
The driver, he gave nothing except a little coffin grunt, but he swung his horse's ansom when it came to action, front, and if one wheel was juicy, you may lay your Monday head. It was juicier for the niggers when the cause begun to spread. The moral of this story, it is plainly to be seen, you haven't got no families when serving of the queen. You haven't got no brothers, fathers, sisters, wives, or sons. If you want to win your battles, take and work your bloomin' guns. Down in the infantry, nobody cares. Down in the cavalry, colonel, he swears. But down in the lead, with the wheel at the flog, turns the bold bombardier to a little whipped dog. End of poem. This audiobook is brought to you by Full Audiobooks. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon if you love audiobooks. The Widow at Windsor by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone Have you heard of the Widow at Windsor With a hairy gold crown on her head? She has ships on the foam, she has millions at home, and she pays us poor beggars in red. Oh, poor beggars in red. There's her nick on the cavalry horses, there's her mark on the medical stores, and her troopers you'll find, with a fair wind behind, that takes us to various wars. Poor beggars, barbarous wars. Then here's to the widow at Windsor, and here's to the stores and the guns, the men and the horses what make up the forces, oh, Mrs. Victoria's sons, poor beggars, Victoria's sons. Walk wide of the widow at Windsor, for half of creation she owns. We have bought her the same with the sword and the flame, and we've sawed it down with our bones. Poor beggars, it's blue with our bones. Hands off of the sons of the widow, hands off of the goods in her shop. For the kings must come down, and the emperors frown, when the widow at Windsor says stop. Poor beggars, we're sent to say stop. Then here's to the lodge of the widow, from the pole to the tropics it runs, to the lodge that we tile with the rank and the file, and open in form with the guns. Poor beggars, it's always they guns. We have heard of the widow at Windsor, it's safest to let her alone, for her centuries we stand by the sea and the land, wherever the bugles are blown. Poor beggars, and don't we get blown. Take hold of the wings of the morning, and flop round the earth till you're dead, but you won't get away from the tune that they play to the blooming old rag overhead. Poor beggars, his hot overhead. Then here's to the sons of the widow, Wherever, however they roam, is all they desire, and if they require, a speedy return to their home. Poor beggars, they'll never see home. End of poem. Else by Rudyard Kipling. Read for LibriVox.org. There was a row in Silver Street that's near to Dublin Quay, between an Irish regiment and English cavalry. It started at Ravelli and it lasted on till dark. The first man dropped at Harrison's, the last for Nins the Park. For it was, Belts, 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 and that's one for you, and it was, Belts, 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 and that's done for you. O oh, buckle and tongue, was the song that we sung, from Harrison's down to the park. There was a row in Silver Street, the regiments was out. They called us Delhi rebels, and we answered, three is about, that drew them like a hornet's nest. We met them good and large, the English at the double, and the Irish at the charge. Then it was, belts, 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 and that's one for you, and it was, belts, 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 and that's done for you. There was a row in Silver Street, and I was in it too. We passed the time o' day, and then the belts went wiraru. I misremember what occurred, but subsequent the storm, a free man's journal supplement was all my uniform. Oh, it was, belts, 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 and that's one for you, 
and it was belts, 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 and that's done for you. There was a row in Silver Street. They sent the police there. The English were too drunk to know. The Irish didn't care. But when they grew impertinent, we simultaneous rose, till half of them was liffy mud and half a stathered clothes. For it was belts, 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 and that's one for you, and it was belts, 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 and that's done for you. There was a row in Silver Street. It might have raged till now, but someone drew his sidearm clear, and nobody knew how. Twas Hogan took the point and dropped, we saw the red blood run, and so we all was murderers that started out in fun, while it was belts, 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 and that's one for you, and it was belts, 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 and that's done for you. There was a row in Silver Street, but that put down the shine, with each man whispering to his next, "'Twas never work o' mine. We went away like beaten dogs, and down the street we bore him. The poor dumb corpse that couldn't tell the boys was sorry for him, when it was, belts, 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 and that's one for you, and it was, belts, 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 and that's done for you. There was a row in Silver Street. It isn't over yet, for half of us were under guard with punishments to get. Tis all a miracle to me as in the clink I lie. There was a row in Silver Street. Be God, I wonder why. But it was belts, 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 and that's one for you. And it was belts, 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 and that's done for you. O buckle and tongue was the song that we sung from Harrison's Down to the Park. End of poem. The Young British Soldier by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Tecumseh When the half-made recruity goes out to the east, He acts like a babe and he drinks like a beast, And he wonders because he is frequent deceased, Ere he's fit for to serve as a soldier. Serve, serve, serve as a soldier. Serve, serve, serve as a soldier serve 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 as a soldier soldier of the queen now all you recruities what's drafted to-day you shut up your rag-box and ark to my lay and i'll sing you a soldier as far as i may a soldier what's fit for a soldier fit 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 for a soldier fit 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 for a soldier fit 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 for a soldier soldier of the queen first mind you steer clear of the grog sellers us for they sell you fixed bayonets that rots out your guts and drink that eat the live steel from your butts and it's bad for the young british soldier bad 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 for the soldier bad 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 for the soldier bad 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 for the soldier soldier of the queen when the cholera comes as it will pass the doubt keep out of the wet and don't go on the shout for the sickness gets in as the liquor dies out and it crumples the young british soldier crumb crumb crumples the soldier crumb crumb crumples the soldier crumb crumb crumples the soldier soldier of the queen but the worst of your foes is the sun overhead you must wear your helmet for all that is said if he finds you uncovered he'll knock you down dead and you'll die like a fool of a soldier fool 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 of a soldier fool 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 of a soldier fool 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 of a soldier soldier of the queen if you're cast for fatigue by a sergeant unkind don't grouse like a woman nor crack on nor blind be handy and civil and then you will find that it's beer for the young british soldier 
Beer, beer, beer for the soldier. Beer, beer, beer for the soldier. Beer, beer, beer for the soldier. So holder of the queen. Now, if you must marry, take care she is old. A troop sergeant's widow's the nicest, I'm told. For beauty won't help if your rations is cold, nor love ain't enough for a soldier. Nuff, nuff, nuff for a soldier. Nuff, nuff, nuff for a soldier. Nuff, nuff, nuff for a soldier. Soldier of the Queen. If your wife should go wrong with a comrade, be loath to shoot when you catch em. You'll swing on my oath. Make him take her and keep her. That's hell for them both. And you're shut of the curse of a soldier. Curse, curse, curse of a soldier. Curse, curse, curse of a soldier. Curse, curse, curse of a soldier. Soldier of the Queen. When first under fire and you're wishful to duck, don't look nor take heed of the man that is struck. Be thankful you're living, and trust to your luck, and march to your front like a soldier. Front, front, front like a soldier. Front, front, front like a soldier. Front, front, front like a soldier. Sir so Holger of the Queen. When half of your bullets fly wide in the ditch, don't call your martini a cross-eyed old bitch. She's human as you are, you treat her as sitch, and she'll fight for the young British soldier. Fight, fight, fight for the soldier. Fight, fight, fight for the soldier. Fight, fight, fight for the soldier. Soldier of the Queen. When shaking their bustles like ladies so fine, the guns of the enemy wheel into line. Shoot low at the limbers, and don't mind the shine, for noise never startles the soldier. Start, start, startles the soldier. Start, start, startles the soldier. Start, start, startles the soldier. Sir Holger of the Queen. If your officer's dead and the sergeants look white, remember it's ruin to run from a fight. So take open order, lie down and sit tight, and wait for supports like a soldier. Wait, wait, wait like a soldier. Wait, wait, wait like a soldier. Wait, wait, wait like a soldier. Soldier of the Queen. When you're wounded and left on Afghanistan's plains, and the women come out and cut up what remains, just roll to your rifle and blow out your brains, and go to your god like a soldier. Go, go, go like a soldier. Go, go, go like a soldier. Go, go, go like a soldier. Sir Olger of the Queen. End of poem. Mandalay by Rudyard Kipling. Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone. By the old Mumine pagoda, looking eastward to the sea, there's a Burma girl a setting, and I know she thinks of me. For the wind is in the palm trees, and the temple bells they say, Come you back, you British soldier, come you back to Mandalay. Come you back to Mandalay, where the old flotilla lay. Can't you hear their paddles chunking from Rangoon to Mandalay? On the road to Mandalay, where the flying fishes play, and the dawn comes up like thunder out of China across the bay. Her petticoat was yire, and her little cap was green, and her name was Soupy Yolat just the same as Theba's queen, and I seed her first a-smoking of a whacking white cheroot, and a-wasting Christian kisses on an heathen idol's foot. Bloomy idol made of mud, what they called the great gold bud. Plucky lot she cared for idols when I kissed her where she stood, on the road to Mandalay. 
when the mist was on the rice fields and the sun was dropping slow she'd get her little banjo and she'd sing kaloo lo lo with her arm upon my shoulder and her cheek agin my cheek we used to watch the steamers and the hathies piling teak elephants a piling teak in the sludgy squdgy creek where the silence hung that heavy you was half afraid to speak on the road to mandalay but that's all shoved behind me long ago and fur away and there ain't no buses running from the bank to mandalay and i'm learning here in london what the ten-year soldier tells if you've heard the east a calling you won't never eat nor else no you won't eat nothing else but them spicy garlic smells and the sunshine and the palm trees and the tinkly temple bells on the road to mandalay i am sick of wasting leather on these gritty paving stones and the blasted hanglish drizzle wakes the fever in my bones though i walk with fifty housemaids out of chelsea to the strand and they talk a lot of love him but what do they understand beefy face and grubby hand law what do they understand i've a neater sweeter maiden in a cleaner greener land on the road to mandalay ship me somewhere east of suez where the best is like the worst where there aren't no ten commandments and a man can raise a thirst for the temple bells are calling and it's there that i would be by the old mumain pagoda looking lazy at the sea on the road to mandalay where the old flotilla lay with our sick beneath the awnings when we went to mandalay on the road to mandalay where the flying fishes play and the dawn comes up like thunder out of china across the bay tropin by rudyard kipling read for librivox.org by adrian stevens our army in the east tropin 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 to the sea ere september come again the six-year men are free oh leave the dead behind us for they cannot come away to where the ships are coaling up that takes us home to-day we're going home we're going home our ship is at the shore and you must pack your aversack for we won't come back no more no don't you grieve for me my lovely mary ann for i'll marry you yet on a forpney bit as a time expired man the manny bars in arbour with the jumner at a tail and the time expired's waiting of his orders for to sail oh the weary waiting when the kyber's ills we lay but the time expired's waiting of his orders home to-day they'll turn us out at portsmouth wharf in cold and wet and rain or wearing injun cotton kit but we will not complain they'll kill us of pneumonia for that's their little way but damn the chills and fever men we're going home to-day troopin troopin winter's round again see the new draughts pouring in for the old campaign oh you poor recruits but you've got to earn your pay what's the last from lunnon lads we're going there to-day troopin troopin give another cheer ears to english women and a quart of english beer the colonel and the regiment and all we've got to stay god's mercy strike em gentle whoop we're going home to-day we're going home we're going home our ship is at the shore and you must pack your aversack for we won't come back no more oh don't you grieve for me my lovely mary ann for i'll marry you yet on a forpney bet as a time expired man end of poem the widow's party by rudyard kipling
Read for LibriVox.org by Adrian Stevens. Where have you been this while away, Johnny, Johnny? Long with the rest on a picnic lay, Johnny, my Johnny, aha! They called us out of the barrack yard, to God knows where from Gospel Ard, and you can't refuse when you get the card, and the widow gives the party. Bugle, ta ra 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 ra. What did you get to eat and drink, Johnny, Johnny? Standing water as thick as ink, Johnny, my Johnny, aha! A bit of beef that were three years stored, a bit of mutton as tough as a board, and a fowl we killed with a sergeant's sword when the widow gave the party. What did you do for knives and forks, Johnny, Johnny? We carries them with us wherever we walks, Johnny, my Johnny, aha! And some was sliced, and some was halved, and some was crimped, and some was carved, and some was gutted, and some was starved when the widow gave the party. What are you done with half your mess, Johnny, Johnny? They couldn't do more, and they wouldn't do less. Johnny, my Johnny, aha! They ate their whack, and they drank their fill, and I think the rations has made a meal for half my company's lying still where the widow gave the party. How did you get away, away, Johnny, Johnny? On the broad of me back at the end of the day, Johnny, my Johnny, aha! I cummed away like a bleeding toff, for I got four niggers to carry me off, as I lay in the bite of a canvas trough when the widow gave the party. What was the end of all the show, Johnny, Johnny? Asked my colonel, for I don't know. Johnny, my Johnny, aha! We broke a king, and we built a road, a courthouse stands where the regiment goad, and the river's clean where raw blood flowed when the widow gave the party. Bugle. ta ra 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 ra, -ra. End of poem. Board at Kabul River by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone Kabul towns by Kabul River Blow the bugle, draw the sword there I left my mate forever, wet and dripping by the ford. Ford, 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 a Kabul river, ford a Kabul river in the dark. There's the river up and brimming, and there's half a squadron swimming, cross the ford of Kabul river in the dark. Kabul town's a blasted place, blow the bugle, draw the sword. Struth, I shan't forget his face, wet and dripping by the ford. Ford, 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 a Kabul river, ford a Kabul river in the dark. Keep the crossing stakes beside you, and they will surely guide you. Cross the ford a Kabul river in the dark. Kabul town is sun and dust, blow the bugle, draw the sword. I had sooner drowned it fust, stead of him beside the ford. Ford, 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 a Kabul river, ford a Kabul river in the dark. You can hear the horses threshing, you can hear the men a splashing. Cross the ford a Kabul river in the dark. Kabul town was ours to take, blow the bugle, draw the sword. I'd a left it for his sake, him that left me by the ford. Ford, 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 a Kabul river, ford a Kabul river in the dark. It's none so blooming dry there, ain't you never coming nigh there. Cross the ford of Kabul River in the dark. Kabul town will go to hell, blow the bugle, draw the sword, for I see him live and well, him the best beside the ford. Ford, ford, ford of Kabul River, ford of Kabul River in the dark. God help em if they blunder, for their boots will pull em under by the ford of Kabul river in the dark turn your horse from Kabul town blow the bugle draw the sword him and half my troop is down 
down and drowned it by the ford 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 of Kabul river ford of Kabul river in the dark there's the river low and falling but it ain't no use a calling cross the ford of Kabul river in the dark end of poem gentlemen rankers by rudyard kipling read for LibriVox.org by adrian stevens to the legion of the lost ones to the cohort of the damned to my brethren in their sorrow overseas sings a gentleman of england cleanly bred machinely crammed and a trooper of the empress if you please yea a trooper of the forces who has run his own six horses and faith he went the pace and went it blind and the world was more than kin while he held the ready tin but to-day the sergeant something less than kind we're poor little lambs who've lost our way ba 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 we're little black sheep who've gone astray ba ah ah gentlemen rankers out on the spree damned from here to eternity god have mercy on such as we ba ya ba oh it's sweet to sweat through stables sweet to empty kitchen slops and it's sweet to hear the tales the troopers tell to dance with blousy housemaids at the regimental hops and thrash the cad who says you waltz too well yes it makes you cock a hoop to be rider to your troop and branded with a blasted worsted spur when you envy oh how keenly one poor tommy being cleanly who blacks your boots and sometimes calls you sir if the home we never write to and the oaths we never keep and all we know most distant and most dear across the snoring barrack room return to break our sleep can you blame us if we soak ourselves in beer when the drunken comrade mutters and the great guard lantern gutters and the horror of our fall is written plain every secret self-revealing on the aching whitewashed ceiling do you wonder that we drug ourselves from pain we have done with hope and honour we are lost to love and truth we are dropping down the ladder rung by rung and the measure of our torment is the measure of our youth god help us for we knew the worst too young our shame is clean repentance for the crime that brought the sentence our pride it is to know no spur of pride and the curse of reuben holds us till an alien turf enfolds us and we die and none can tell them where we died we're poor little lambs who've lost our way ba 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 we're little black sheep who've gone astray ba ah ah gentlemen rankers out on the spree damned from here to eternity god have mercy on such as we ba ya ba marching by rudyard kipling read for LibriVox.org by adrian stevens we're marching on relief over injures sunny plains a little front of christmas time and just behind the rains oh get away you bullock man you've heard the bugle blowed there's a regiment a comin down the grand trunk road with its best foot first and the road a sliding past and every bloomin camping ground exactly like the last while the big drum says with his rowdy dowdy dow kiko kissy wasty don't you amsha argy yow oh there's them injun temples to admire when you see there's the peacock round the corner and the monkey up the tree and there's that rummy silver grass a-wavin in the wind 
and the old grand trunk a trailing like a rifle slink behind while its best foot first and the road a sliding past and every bloomin camping ground exactly like the last while the big drum says with his rowdy dowdy dow kiko kissy wasty don't you amsha argy yow at half past five's reveille and our tents they down must come like a lot of button mushrooms when you pick em up at home but it's over in a minute and at six the column starts while the women and the kiddies sit and shiver in the carts and it's best foot first and the road a sliding past and every bloomin camping ground exactly like the last while the big drum says with his rowdy dowdy dow kiko kissy wasty don't you amsha argy yow oh then it's open order and we lights our pipes and sings and we talks about our rations and a lot of other things and we thinks of friends in england and we wonders what they're at and how they would admire for to ear us sling the bat and it's best foot first and the road a sliding past and every bloomin camping ground exactly like the last while the big drum says with his rowdy dowdy dow kiko kissy wasty don't you amsha argy yow it's none so bad a sunday when you're lying at your ease to watch the kites a wheelin round them feather added trees for although there ain't no women yet there ain't no barrack yards so the officers go shootin and the men they plays at cards till it's best foot first and the road a sliding past and every bloomin camping ground exactly like the last while the big drum says with his rowdy dowdy dow kiko kissy wasty don't you amsha argy yow so ark and eed your rookies which is always grumbling sore there's worse of things than marching from umbler to corn poor and if your eels are blistered and they feels to hurt like owl you drop some tallow in your socks that will make em well for it's best foot first and the road a sliding past and every bloomin camping ground exactly like the last while the big drum says with his rowdy dowdy dow kiko kissy wasty don't you amsha argy yow we're marching on relief over india's coral strand eight hundred fighting englishmen the colonel and the band oh get away you bullock men you've heard the bugle blowed there's a regiment a comin down the grand trunk road with its best foot first and the road a sliding past and every bloomin camping ground exactly like the last while the big drum says with his rowdy dowdy dow kiko kissy wasty don't you amsha argy yow Chillin' a day by Rudyard Kipling, read for LibriVox.org. My name is O'Kelly. I've heard the reveille from Burr to Bareilly, from Leeds to Lahore, Hong Kong and Peshawar, Lucknow and Etawa, and fifty-five more, all ending in poor. Black death and his quickness, the depth and the thickness of sorrow and sickness, have known on my way. But I'm old and I'm nervous. I'm cast from the service. And all I deserve is a shilling a day, shilling a day, bloomin' good pay, lucky to touch it, a shilling a day. Oh, it drives me half crazy to think of the days I went slap for the gazi, my sword at my side, when we rode hell for leather, both squadrons together, that didn't care whether we lived or we died. But it's no use despairin', my wife must go charin', and me commissarin, the pay bills to better. So if me you be old in the wet and the cold by the grand metropole, won't you give me a letter? Give him a letter. Can't do no better. Late troop sergeant major and runs with a letter. Think what he's been. Think what he's seen. Think of his pension and God save the queen. End of poem. The 
This audiobook is brought to you by Full Audiobooks. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon if you love audiobooks. Bobs by Rudyard Kipling. Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone. Second Series, 1896. Bobs. There's a little red faced man, which is Bobs, rides the tallest horse he can. Our Bobs. If it bucks or kicks or rears, he can sit for twenty years with a smile round both his ears. Can't your Bobs? Then here's to Bobs Bahadur, little Bobs, Bobs, Bobs. Ease or pucker can the harder fighting bobs 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 he's the duke of aggie chell he's the man that's done us well and we'll follow him to hell won't we bobs if a limber's slipped a trace hook on bobs if a marker's lost his place dress by bobs for he's eyes all up his coat and a bugle in his throat and you will not play the goat under bobs he's a little down on drink chaplin bobs but it keeps us so a clink don't it bobs so we will not complain though he's water on the brain if he leads us straight again blue light bobs if you stood him on his head father bobs you could spill a quart of lead out of bobs he's been at it thirty years and amassing souvenirs in the way of slugs and spears ain't your bobs what he does not know of war general bobs you can ask the shop next door can't they bobs oh he's little but he's wise he's a terror for his size and he does not advertise do ye bobs now nah, they've made a blooming lord out of bobs which was but his fair reward weren't it bobs so he'll wear a coronet where his helmet used to set but we know you won't forget will ye bobs then here's to Bob's Bahadur, little Bob's Bob's Bob's, pocket Wellington and Arder, fighting Bob's Bob's Bob's. This ain't no blooming ode, but you've helped a soldier's load, and for benefits bestowed. Bless you, Bob's. End of poem. Back to the Army Again by Rudyard Kipling. Read for LibriVox.org by Rita. I'm here in a ticky ulster and a broken billycock at. I lean on to the sergeant, I don't know a gun from a bat. My shirt's doing duty for jacket, my socks sticking out of my boots, and I'm learning the damned old goose step along with the new recruits. Back to the army again, sergeant, back to the army again. Don't look so hard, for I haven't no card, I'm back to the army again. I done my six year service, Her Majesty says good day. You'll please to come when you're rung for, and here's your old back pay. And four pence a day for Basie, and blooming generous too, and now you can make your fortune the same as your officers do. Back to the army again, sergeant, back to the army again. Oh, did I learn to do right about turn? I'm back to the army again. A man of four and twenty that hasn't learned of a trade, Beside reserve again him, he'd better be never made. I tried my luck for a quarter, and that was enough for me, and I thought of Her Majesty's barracks, and I thought I'd go and see. Back to the army again, sergeant, back to the army again. Tisn't my fault if I dress when I ought, I'm back to the army again. The sergeant asked no questions, but he winked the other eye. He says to me, shun, and I shunted, the same as in days gone by. For he saw the set on my shoulders, and I couldn't tell holding straight when me and the other rookies come under the barrack gate. Back to the army again, sergeant, back to the army again. 
who would have thought i could carry in port i'm back to the army again i took my bath and i wallered for god i needed it so i smelt the smell of the barracks i heard the buggles go i heard the feet on the gravel the feet of the men were drill and i says to my fluttering art strings i says to em peace be still back to the army again sergeant back to the army again who said i knew when the jumper was due i'm back to the army again i carried my slops to the tailor i says to him none o your lip you tied him over the shoulders and loose him over the hip for the set of the tunics horrid and he says to me strike me dead but i thought you was used to the business and so he done what i said back to the army again sergeant back to the army again rather too free with my fancies what me i'm back to the army again next week i'll have em fitted i'll buy me a swagger cane they'll let me free o the barracks to walk on the hoe again in the name of william parsons that used to be edward clay and any poor beggar that wants it can draw my fourpence a day back to the army again sergeant back to the army again out of the cloud and the rain sergeant out of the cloud and the rain who's there a man that's too good to be lost you a man that is under and made a man that will pay what he cost you in learning the others their trade parade you're dropping the pick of the army because you don't tell them remain but drives him to cheat to get out of the street and back to the army again birds of prey march by rudyard kipling read for librivox dot org by lee vogler march the mud is caking good about our trousers front as front and watch the colour casings drip front the faces of the women in the houses ain't the kind of things to take aboard the ship cheer and we'll never march to victory cheer and we'll never live to ear the cannon roar the large birds of prey they will carry us away and you'll never see your soldiers any more wheel oh keep your touch with going round a corner time mark time and let the men behind us close lord the transport's full and app our lot not honour cheer oh cheer we're going off where no one knows march the devil's none so black as he is painted cheer we'll have some fun before we're put away alt and her out a woman's gone and fainted cheer get on god help the married men to-day oi come up you hungry beggars to your sorrow ear them say they want their tea and want it quick you won't have no mind for slingers not to-morrow no you'll put the tween decks stove out being sick alt the married kid is all to go before us course it's blocked the bloomin gangway up again cheer oh cheer the oars guards watchin tender o'er us keepin us since eight this mornin in the rain stuck in heavy march and order sopped and ringin sick before our time to watch her eve and fall ere's your appy home at last and stop your singin alt fallin along the troop deck silence all cheer but we'll never live to see no bloomin victory cheer and we'll never live to ear the cannon roar one cheer more the jackal and the kite have a healthy appetite and you'll never see your soldiers any more ip a roar the eagle and the crow they're waitin ever so and you'll never see your soldiers any more ip a roar yes the large birds of prey they will carry us away and you'll never see your soldiers any more end of poem Soldier and Sailor Two by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org As I was spitten into the ditch aboard of the crocodile, I seed a man on a man o' war got up in the regular style. He was scraping the paint from off of her plates, and I says to him, Who are you? Says he, I'm a jolly, her majesty's jolly, soldier and sailor too. Now his work begins by God knows when, and his work is never through. He isn't one o' the regular line, nor he isn't one o' the crew. He's a kind of a giddy Hermphrodite, soldier and sailor too. And after I met him all over the world, a-doin' all kinds of things, like landin' hisself with a gatlin gun 
to talk to them ethan kings he sleeps in an hammock instead of a cot and he drills with a deck on a slough and he sweats like a jolly her majesty's jolly soldier and sailor too for there isn't a job on the top of the earth the beggar don't know nor do you can leave him at night on a bald man's head to paddle his own canoe he is a sort of a bloomin' cosmopolis soldier and sailor too we fought him in trooper we fought him in dock and drunk with him in betweens when they called us the seasick scullery maids and we called him the ass marines but when we was down for a double fatigue from woolwich to bernard my you we sent for the jollies her majesty's jollies soldier and sailor too they think for themselves and they steal for themselves and they never ask what's to do but they are camped and fed and they are up and fed before our bugles blew ho oh, they ain't no limpin procrastitutes soldier and sailor too you may say we are fond of an honest cut or ootin in barrack yards or startin a boat school mutiny along o the onion guards but once in a while we can finish in style for the ends of the earth to view the same as the jollies her majesty's jollies soldier and sailor too they come of our lot they was brothers to us they was beggars we'd met and knew yes barin an inch in the chest and the arm they was doubles o me and you for they weren't no special chrysanthemums soldier and sailor too to take your chance in the thick of a rush with firing all about is nothing so bad when you've cover to end and leave and like to shout but to stand and be still to the burkinhead trill is a damn tough bullet to chew and they done it the jollies her majesty's jollies soldier and sailor too their work was done when it hadn't begun they was younger nor me and you their choice it was plain between drownin in eeps and bein mopped by the screw so they stood and was still to the burkinhead drill soldier and sailor too we most of us liars we are half of us thieves and the rest are as rank as can be but once in a while we can finish in style which i hope it won't happen to me but it makes you think better o you and your friends and the work you may have to do when you think o the sinkin victorious jollies soldier and sailor too no there isn't no room for to say you don't know they have proved it plain and true that whether it's widow or whether it's ship victoria's work is to do and they done it the jollies her majesty's jollies soldier and sailor too end of poem the clappers by rudyard kipling read for librivox dot org by alan mapstone when the waters were dried and the earth did appear it's all one says the sapper the lord he created the engineer her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper when the flood come along for an extra monsoon twas noah constructed the first pontoon to the plans of her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper but after fatigue in the wet and the sun old noah got drunk which he wouldn't have done if he'd trained with her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper when the tower of babel had mixed up men's bat some clever civilian was managing that and none of her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper when the jews had a fight at the foot of a hill young joshua ordered the sun to stand still for he was a captain of engineers her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper when the children of israel made bricks without straw they were learning the regular work of our corps the work of her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper for ever since then if a war they would wage behold us a shining on history's page first page four her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper we lay down their sidings and help em entrain and we sweep up their mess through the blooming campaign 
in the style of her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper they send us in front with a fuse and a mine to blow up the gates that are rushed by the line but bent by her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper they send us behind with a pick and a spade to dig for the guns of a bullock's brigade which has asked for her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper we work under escort in trousers and shirt and the heathen they plug us tail up in the dirt annoying her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper we blast out the rock and we shovel the mud we make em good roads and they roll down the cud reporting her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper we make em their bridges their wells and their huts and the telegraph wire the enemy cuts and it's blamed on her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper and when we return and from wars we would cease they grudge us adorning the billets of peace which are kept for her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper we build em nice barracks they swear they are bad that our colonels are methodists married or mad insulting her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper they haven't no manners nor gratitude too for the more that we help em the less will they do but mock at her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper now the line's but a man with a gun in his hand and cavalry's only what horses can stand when helped by her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper artillery moves by the leave of the ground but we are the men that do something all round for we are her majesty's royal engineer with the rank and pay of a sapper i have stated it plain and my arguments thus it's all one says the sapper there's only one corps which is perfect that's us and they call us her majesty's engineers her majesty's royal engineers with the rank and pay of a sapper end of poem that day by rudyard kipling read for librivox dot org by richa it got beyond all orders and it got beyond all hope it got to shaman wounded and retiring from the old old companions was looking for the nearest road to slope it were just a booming knockout and our fault now there ain't no chorus air to give nor there ain't no band to play and i wish i was dead for i'd done what i did or seen what i seed that day we was sick o being punished and we let em know it too and a company commander up and hit us with a sword and some one shouted ook it and it come to serve kipu and we chucked our rifles from us oh my god there was thirty dead and wounded on the ground we wouldn't keep no there wasn't more than twenty when the front began to go but christ along the line of light they cut us up like sheep and that was all we gained by doing so i heard the knives behind me but i durstn't face my man nor i don't know where i went to cause i didn't alt to see till i heard a beggar squealing out for quarter as he ran and i thought i knew the voice and it was me we was hiding under bedsteads more than half a march away we was lying up like rabbits all about the countryside and the major cursed his maker cause he lived to see that day and the colonel broke his sword across and cried we was rotten for we started we was never disciplined we made it out of favour if an order was obeyed yes every little drummer at its rights and wrongs to mind so we had to pay for teaching and be paid the papers it it handsome but you know the army knows 
we was put to groom in camels till the regiments withdrew and they gave us each a medal for subdue in england's foes and i hope you like my song because it's true and there ain't no chorus here to give nor there ain't no band to play but i wish i was dead for i'd done what i did or seen what i seed that day the men that fought at minden by rudyard kipling read for librivox dot org by alan mapstone a song of instruction the men that fought at minden they was rookies in their time so was them that fought at waterloo all the old command yes from minden to may wand they was once damn sweeps like you then do not be discouraged heaven is your helper will learn you not to forget and you mustn't swear and curse or you'll only catch it worse for we'll make you soldiers yet the men that fought in minden they had stocks beneath their chins six inches high and more but fatigue it was their pride and they would not be denied to clean the cookhouse floor the men that fought at minden they had anarchistic bombs served to em by name of hand grenades but they got it in the eye same as you will by and by when they clubbed their field parades the men that fought at minden they had buttons up and down two and twenty dozen of em told but they didn't grouse and shirk at an hour's extra work they kept em bright as gold the men that fought at minden they was armed with musketoons also they was drilled by albadiers i don't know what they were but the sergeants took good care they washed behind their ears the men that fought at minden they had ever cash in hand which they did not bank or save they spent it game free on their betters such as me for the good advice i gave the men that fought at minden they was civil yes they was never didn't talk o rights and wrongs but they got it with the toe same as you will get it so for interrupting songs the men that fought at minden they was several other things which i don't remember clear but that's the reason why now the six year men are dry the rooks will stand the beer then do not be discouraged heaven is your helper we'll learn you not to forget and you mustn't swear and curse or you'll only catch it worse for we'll make you soldiers yet soldiers yet if you got it in you all for the sake of the corps soldiers yet if we have to skin you run and get the beer johnny roll johnny roll ho oh, run and get the beer johnny roll End of poem Cholera Camp by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson We've got the cholera in camp. It's worse than forty fights. We're dying in the wilderness, the same as Israelites. It's before us and behind us, and we cannot get away. And the doctors just reported we've ten more today. Oh, strike your camp and go, the bugle's callin', the rains are fallin', the dead are bushed and stoned to keep em safe below. The band's a-doin' all she knows to cheer us, the chaplain's gone and prayed to God to ear us, to ear us, O oh Lord, for it's a killin' of us so. Since August, when it started, it's been stickin' to our tail, though they've at us out by marches, and they've at us back by rail but it runs as fast as troop trains and we cannot get away and the sick list to the colonel makes ten more to-day there ain't no fun in women nor there ain't no bite to drink it's much too wet for shootin we can only march and think and at even and down the nullahs we can ear the jackals say hey get up you rotten beggars you've got ten more to-day 
twould make a monkey cop to see our way o doin things lieutenants takin companies and captain takin wings and lances actin sergeants eight file to obey for we've lots a quick promotion on ten deaths a day our colonel's white and twitterly he gets no sleep nor food but mucks about in or spittal where nothin does no good he sends us eaps o comforts all bought from his pay but there aren't much comfort andy on ten deaths a day our chaplain's got a banjo and a skinny mule he rides and the stuff he says and sings us lord it makes us split our sides with his black coat tails a bobbin a ta ra ra boom de ray he's the proper kind of padre for ten deaths a day and father victor helps him with our roman catholics he knows a heap of irish songs and rummy conjuring tricks and the two they works together when it comes to play or pray so we keep the ball a rollin on ten deaths a day we've got the collar in camp we've got it out and sweet it ain't no christmas dinner but it's elp then we must eat we've gone beyond the thunkin cause we've found it doesn't pay and we're rockin round the district on ten deaths a day then strike your camp and go the rains are fallin the bugles callin the dead are bushed and stoned to keep em safe below and them that do not like it they can lump it and them that cannot stand it they can jump it we've got to die somewhere some way somehow we might as well begin to do it now then number one let down the tent pole slow knock out the pegs and old the corners so fold in the flies furl up the ropes and stow oh strike oh strike your camp and go god help us in the poem ladies by rudyard kipling read by LibriVox.org by pinder cross chiang mai 21st of january 2022 i've taken my fun where i found it i've roved and i've ranged in my time i've had my pick in her sweethearts and four of the lot was prime one was an half-caste widow one was a woman at prome one was the wife of Jemada Say, and one is a girl at home. Now I aren't no and with the ladies, for taking em all along, you never can say till you've tried em, and then you are like to be wrong. There's times when you think that you mightn't, there's times when you know that you might, but the things you will learn from the yellow and brown they'll help you a lot with the white i was a young un at oogly shy as a girl to begin aggie de castra she made me and aggie was clever as sin older than me but my first un more like a mother she were showed me the way to promotion and pay and i learned about women from her then i was ordered to burma Acting in charge of bazaar, and I got me a tiddy little even through buying supplies off her pa. Funny and yellow and faithful, doll in a teacup she were, but we lived on the square like a true married pair, and I learned about women from her. Then we were shifted to Nemuch, or I might have been keeping her now and I took with a shiny she-devil, the wife of a nigger at Mal. Taught me the gypsy folks bowly, kind of volcano she were, for she knifed me one night cause I wish she was white, and I learned about women from her. Then I came home in the trooper, long of kid of sixteen, girl from a convent at Meanrut, the strangest I've ever seen. Love at first sight was her trouble. She didn't know what it were. And I wouldn't do much, cause I liked her too much. But I learn about women from her. I've taken my fun where I found it. And now I must pay for my fun. 
for the more you have known of the others, the less you will settle to one. And the end of it's sitting and thinking, and dreaming how fires to see. So be warned by my lot, which I know you will not, and learn about women from me. What did the colonel's lady think? Nobody ever knew. Someone asked the sergeant's wife, and she told him true. When you get to a man in the case, they're like as a row of pins for the colonel's lady and Judy O'Grady, our sisters under their skins. End of poem. Bill Hawkins by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk Has anybody seen Bill Hawkins? Now how in the devil would I know? He's taken my gal out walking, and I've got to tell him so. God bless him, I've got to tell him so. Do you know what he's like, Bill Hawkins? Now what in the devil would I care? He's a living, breathing image of an organ grinder's monkey with a pound of grease in his hair. God bless him, and a pound of grease in his hair. And s'pose you met Bill Hawkins. Now what in the devil would you do? I'd open his cheek to his chin strap buckle and bung up his both eyes too. God bless him, and bung up his both eyes too. Look here, where he comes, Bill Hawkins. Now what in the devil will you say? It isn't fitting proper to be fightin' on a Sunday, so I'll pass him the time a day. God bless him, I'll pass him the time a day. End of poem. This audiobook is brought to you by Full Audiobooks. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon if you love audiobooks. The Mother Lodge by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Peter Yearsley The Mother Lodge There was Randall, Station Master, and Beasley of the Rail, and Ackman, Commissariat, and Donkin of the Jail, and Blake, Conductor Sergeant, our master twice was he, with him that kept the Europe shop, old Framgy Edelgy. Outside, Sergeant, Sir, Salute, Salam. Inside, Brother, and it doesn't do no harm. We met upon the level, and we parted on the square, and I was junior deacon in my mother lodge out there. We'd bowl a nath, accountant, and Saul the Aden Jew, and Din Mohammed, draughtsman of the survey office, too. There was Babu Chakabati, and Amir Singh the Sikh, and Castro from the fitting sheds, the Roman Catholic. We hadn't good regalia, and our lodge was old and bare, but we knew the ancient landmarks, and we kept them to a hair, and looking on it backwards, it often strikes me thus, there ain't such things as infidels, except perhaps it's us. For monthly, after labour, we'd all sit down and smoke, we durstn't give no banquets, lest the brother's caste were broke, and man on man got talking religion and the rest, and every man comparing of the God he knew the best. So man and man got talking, and not a brother stirred till morning waked the parrots, and that damn brain fever bird. We'd say twas highly curious, and we'd all ride home to bed, with Mohammed, God, and Shiva changing pickets in our head. Full oft on government service this roving foot hath pressed, And bore fraternal greetings to the lodges east and west, According as commanded from Kohat to Singapore. But I wish that I might see them in my mother lodge once more. I wish that I might see them, my brethren, black and brown, With the trickies smelling pleasant, and the hog darn passing down, And the old Kansama snoring on the bottle carna floor like a master in good standing with my mother lodge once more outside sergeant sir salute salam inside brother and it doesn't do no harm we met upon the level and we parted on the square 
and I was junior deacon in my mother lodge out there. Blow Me Home by Roger Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone There was no one like him, horse or foot, nor any of the guns I knew, and because it was so, why, of course, he went and died, which is just what the best men do. So it's knock out your pipes and follow me, and it's finish up your swipes and follow me. Oh, hark to the big drum calling, follow me, follow me home. His mare, she neighs the old day long, she pulls the whole night through, and she won't take her feed, cause of waiting for his step, which is just what a beast would do. His girl, she goes with a bombardier, before her month is through, and the bands are up in church, for she's got the beggar hooked, which is just what a girl would do. We fought about a dog last week, it were, no more than a round or two, but I struck him cruel hard, and I wish I hadn't now, which is just what a man can't do. He was all that I had in the way of a friend, and I've had to find one new. But I give up my pay and strike for to get the beggar back, which it's just too late to do. So it's knock out your pipes and follow me, and finish off your swipes and follow me. Oh, hark to the fifes a crawling, follow me, follow me home. Take him away, he's gone where the best men go. Take him away, and the gun wheel's turning slow. Take him away, there's more from the place he come. Take him away with the limber and the drum. For it's three rounds blank, and follow me. And it's thirteen rank, and follow me. Oh, passing the love of women, follow me, follow me home. End of poem. The Sergeant's Wedding by Rudyard Kipling. Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone. He was warned again her. That's what made him look. She was warned again him. That is why she took. Wouldn't hear no reason. Went and done it blind. We know all about em. They've got all to find. Cheer for the sergeant's wedding, give em one cheer more. Grey gun horses in the lando, and a rogue is married too, etc. What's the use of telling half the lot she's been? He's a blooming robber, and he keeps canteen. How did he get his buggy? Gold, you needn't ask. Made his forty gallon out of every cask. Watching with his hair cut, count us filing by, won't the colonel praise his popularity? We have scores to sell, scores for more than beer. She's the girl to pay em, that's why we're here. See the chaplain thinking, see the women smile, twig the married winking as they take the aisle. Keep your side arms quiet. Dress him by the band. Oh, you holy beggars, cough behind your hand. Now it's done and over. Hear the organ squeak. Voice that breathed o'er Eden, ain't she got the cheek? White and laylock ribbons, think yourself so fine. I'd pray God to take her, for I made your mine. Escort to the carriage, wish him luck, the brute. Chuck the slippers after, pity taint a boot. Bowing like a lady, blushing like a lad, who would say to see em, both is rotten bad. Cheer for the sergeant's wedding, give em one cheer more. Grey gun horses in the lando, and a rogue is married too, etc. End of poem. The Jacket by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone Through the plagues of Egypt we was chasing Arabi, getting down and shoving in the sun. 
and you might have called us dirty and you might have called us dry and you might have heard us talking at the gun but the captain had his jacket and the jacket it was new horse gunners listened to my song and the wetting of the jacket is the proper thing to do nor we didn't keep him waiting very long one day they gave us orders for to shell a sand redoubt loading down the axle arms with case but the captain knew his duty and he took the crackers out and he put some proper liquor in its place and the captain saw the shrapnel which is six and thirty clear horse gunners listen to my song will you draw the weight says he or will you draw the beer and we didn't keep him waiting very long for the captain had his jacket and the jacket it was new horse gunners listen to my song and the wetting of the jacket is the proper thing to do nor we didn't keep him waiting very long then we trotted gentle not to break the blooming glass for the arabites had all their ranges marked but we durn't hardly gallop for the most was bottled bass and we dreamed of it since we was disembarked so we fired economic with the shells we had in hand horse gunners listened to my song but the beggars under cover had the impudence to stand and we couldn't keep em waiting very long and the captain had his jacket and the jacket it was new horse gunners listen to my song and the wetting of the jacket is the proper thing to do nor we didn't keep him waiting very long so we finished off the liquor and the captain took champagne and the arabites were shooting all the while and we left our wounded happy with the empties on the plain and we used the blooming guns for projectile we limbered up and galloped there was nothing else to do horse gunners listened to my song and the battery came abounding like a bounding kangaroo but they didn't watch us coming very long and the captain had his jacket and the jacket it was new horse gunners listened to my song and the wetting of the jacket is the proper thing to do nor we didn't keep him waiting very long we was going most extended we was driving very fine and the arabites was losing iron wide till the captain took the glassy with a rattling right incline and we dropped upon their heads the other side then we give em quarters such as hadn't up and cut horse gunners listen to my song and the captain stood a limber full of fizzy something brute but we didn't leave it fizzing very long for the captain had his jacket and the jacket it was new horse gunners listen to my song and the wetting of the jacket is the proper thing to do nor we didn't keep him waiting very long we might have been court-martialed but it all come out all right when they signalled us to join the main command there was every round expended there was every gunner tight and the captain waved a corkscrew in his hand but the captain had his jacket and the jacket it was new horse gunners listened to my song and the wetting of the jacket is the proper thing to do nor we didn't keep him waiting very long end of poem eden by rudyard kipling read for librivox dot org the eden in his blindness bows down to wood and stone he don't obey no orders unless they is his own he keeps his side arms awful he leaves them all about and then comes up the regiment and pokes the eden out all along o dirtiness all along o mess all along o doing things rather more or less all along of abinay cull and hazard ho mind you keep your rifle and yourself just so the young recruiter's haughty he drafts from god knows where they bid him show his stockings and lay his mattress square he calls it bloom and nonsense he doesn't know no more and then up comes his company and kicks him round the floor the young recruiter's hammered he takes it very hard he hangs his head and mutters 
he sulks about the yard. He talks of cruel tyrants, he'll swing for by and by, and the other's ears and mocks him, and the boy goes off to cry. The young recruit is silly, he thinks of suicide, he's lost his gutter devil, he hasn't got his pride. But day by day they kicks him, which helps him on a bit, till he finds himself one morning with a full and proper kit. Getting clear o' dirtiness, getting done with mess, getting shut o' doing things, rather more or less. Not so fond of Abine, Kal nor Hazar Ho, learns to keep his rifle and himself just so. The young recruit is happy, he throws a chest to suit, you see him grow moustaches, you hear him slap his boot. He learns to drop the bloodies from every word he slings, and he shows an eldy brisket when he strips for bars and rings. The cruel tyrant sergeants, they watch him half a year, they watch him with his comrades, they watch him with his spear, they watch him with the women at the regimental dance, and the cruel sergeant tyrants send his name along for lance. And now he's our for nothing, and all a private yet, his room they up and rags him to see what they will get. They rags him low and cunning, each dirty trick they can, but he learns to sweat his temper, and he learns to sweat his man. And last a colour sergeant, as such to be obeyed, he schools his men at cricket, he tells em on parade, they sees him quick and handy, uncommon set and smart. And so he talks to officers which have the core at art. He learns to do his watching without it showing plain. He learns to save a dummy and shove him straight again. He learns to check a rancor that's by and leave to shirk, and he learns to make men like him, so they learn to like their work. And when it comes to marching, he'll see their socks are right, and when it comes to action, he shows them out of sight. He knows their ways of thinking and just what's in their mind. He knows when they are taken on and when they fell behind. He knows each talking corporal, that leads a squad astray, he feels his innards even, his bowels given way. He sees the blue-white faces, all trying hard to grin, and he stands and waits and suffers till it's time to cap him in. And now the ugly bullets come pecking through the dust, and no one wants to face him, but every beggar must. So like a man in irons, which isn't glad to go, they moves him off by companies, uncommon stiff and slow. Of all his five years schooling, they don't remember much, except the not retreating, the step and keep in touch. It looks like teaching wasted when they duck and spread and hop, but if he hadn't learned them, they'd be all about the shop. And now it's who goes backward, and now it's who comes on, and now it's get the doolies, and now the captain's gone. And now it's bloody murder, but all the while they hear, his voice the same as barrack drill, a shepherd in the rear. He's just as sick as they are, his heart is like to split, but he works and works and works him, till he feels him take the bit. The rest is old and steady, till the watchful bugles play, and he lifts him, lifts him, lifts him, through the charge that wins the day. The heathen in his blindness bows down to wooden stone, he don't obey no orders unless they is his own. The heathen in his blindness must end where he began, but the backbone of the army is the non-commissioned man. Keep away from dirtiness, keep away from mess, don't get into doing things, rather more or less. Let's get done with Abine, Kull and Hazar Ho. Mind you keep your rifle and yourself just so. End of poem. The Shut Eye Sentry by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone Says the junior orderly sergeant to the senior orderly man, Our orderly officer's hokey mutt, you help him all you can. For the wine was old and the night is cold, and the best we may go wrong, So for he gets to the sentry box, you pass the word along so it was rounds what rounds at two on a frosty night he's holding on by the sergeant's sash but sentry shut your eye and it was past all's well oh ain't he dripping tight he'll need an affidavit pretty badly by and by 
the moon was white on the barracks the road was white and wide and the orderly officer took it all and a ten-foot ditch beside and the corporal pulled and the sergeant pushed and the three they danced along but i'd shut my eyes in the sentry box so i didn't see nothing wrong though it was rounds what rounds oh corporal hold him up he's using his cap as it shouldn't be used but sentry shut your eye and it was part all's well oh shun the foaming cup he'll need an affidavit pretty badly by and by twas after four in the morning we had to stop the fun and we sent him home on a bullock cart with his belt and stock undone but we sluiced him down and we washed him out and a first-class job we made and we saved him smart as a bombardier for six o'clock parade the had been rounds what rounds and shove him straight again he's using his sword for a bicycle but sentry shut your eye and it was pass all's well he's called me darling jane he'll need an affidavit pretty badly by and by the drill was long and heavy the sky was hot and blue and his eye was wild and his hair was wet but his sergeant pulled him through our men was good old trusties they'd done it on their head but you ought to have heard him marking time to hide the things he said for it was right flank wheel for alt and stand at ease and left extend for centre close oh marker shut your eye and it was here sir here before the colonel sees so he needed affidavits pretty badly by and by there was two and thirty sergeants there was corporals forty-one there was just nine hundred rank and file to swear to a touch of sun there was me he'd kissed in the sentry box as i have not told in my song but i took my oath which were bible truth i hadn't seen nothing wrong there's them that's hot and haughty and there's them that's cold and hard but there comes a night when the best gets tight and then turns out the guard i've seen em hide their liquor in every kind of way but most depends on making friends with private thomas a when it is rounds what rounds he's breathing through his nose he's reeling rolling roaring tight but sentry shut your eye and it is pass all's well and that's the way it goes we'll help him for his mother and he'll help us by and by end of poem mary pity women by rudyard kipling read for LibriVox.org by Sandra, Montreal, 2021 You call yourself a man For all you used to swear And leave me, as you can, My certain shame to bear? I, ear, you do not care You've done the worst, you know I ate you, grinning there Ah, oh, God, I love you so Nice while it lasted, and now it is over Tear out your heart and good-bye to your lover. What's the use of grieving when the mother that bore you, Mary, pity women, knew it all before you? It aren't no false alarm, the finish to your fun. You, you've brung the arm, and I'm the ruined one. And now you'll off and run with some new fool in tow. Your art, you haven't none. Oh, God, I love you so. When a man is tired, there's naught will bind him. All ye solemn promise, he will shove behind him. What's the good of praying for the wrath to strike him? Mary, pity woman, when the rest are like him. What hope for me, or it? What's left for us to do? I've walked with men a bit, but this, but this is you. So help me, Christ, it's true. Where can I hide or go? You coward, through and through. Oh, God, I love you so. All the more you give him, the less are they forgiven. Love lies dead, and you cannot kiss him, living. Down the road he led you, there's no returning. Mary, pity women.
but you're late in learning. You'd like to treat me fair. You can't, because we're poor. We'd starve. What do I care? We might, but this is sure. I want the name. No more. The name and lines to show, and not to be an oar. Oh, God, I love you so. What's the good of pleading when the mother that bore you, Mary, pity women, knew it all before you? Sleep on his promises and wake to your sorrow. Mary, pity women, for we sail tomorrow. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Or to Admire by Rudyard Kipling Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone The Injun Ocean sets and smiles, So soft, so bright, so blooming blue, There aren't a wave for miles and miles, Except the jiggle from the screw. The ship is swept, the day is done, The bugle's gone for smoke and play, And black again the setting sun, The Lascar sings, Hum decti hey For to admire and for to see, for to behold this world so wide, it never done no good to me, but I can't drop it if I tried. I see the sergeants pitching quoits, I hear the women laugh and talk, I spy upon the quarter deck, the officers and ladies walk. I thinks about the things that was, and leans and looks across the sea, till, spite of all the crowded ship, there's no one left alive but me. The things that was which I have seen, in barrack, camp, and action too, I tells them over by myself, and sometimes wonders if they're true, for they were odd, most awful odd, and all the same now that they're o'er, there must be heaps of plenty such, and if I wait, I'll see some more. Oh, I have come up upon the books, and frequent broke a barrack rule, and stood beside and watched myself, behaving like a blooming fool. I paid my price for finding out, nor never grunch the price I paid. I sat in clink without my boots, admiring how the world was made. Behold a crowd upon the beam, and umped above the sea appears, Old Aden like a barrack stove, that no one's lit for years and years. I pass by that when I began, and I go home the road I came, A time-expired soldier man, with six years' service to his name. My girl, she said, oh, stay with me, my mother held me to her breast, They've never written none, and so they must have gone with all the rest, with all the rest which I have seen and found and known and met along. I cannot say the things I feel, and so I sing my evening song. For to admire and for to see, for to behold this world so wide, it never done no good to me, but I can't drop it if I tried. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.